Hello, in this video, you will learn Bracenum line drawing algorithm step by step using a numerical example. As in previous video, we were talking about different types of line drawing algorithm that is DD algorithm, Bracenum algorithm, and midpoint algorithm. So, what we did DD algorithm in previous video. So, according to that, the advantage of DD algorithm is it is simple and faster. What the disadvantage of this algorithm is that is DD algorithm is accuracy to the end point is very poor. So right now we are working on Bracenum line drawing algorithm and the another drawback of DD algorithm is it deal with rounding of operations and floating point arithmetic. So when we were calculating the values for the points so we were doing rounding of operations floating points number Right now, we are working on Bracenum line drawing algorithm. It was developed by Bracenum and this algorithm is more accurate and efficient as compared to DDA. And this algorithm is more accurate and efficient because it uses only integer addition, subtraction and multiplication. So right now, there is no need to do any kind of floating point arithmetic or any kind of operation like rounding of figures. So we will do simple addition, multiplication and subtraction. The basic al principle of this algorithm is find the optimum raster location to represent the straight line. This is the Bresnum line drawing algorithm. First we will input the two end points for the line. After that we will load the initial point into the frame that is we will plot the first point after that we will calculate the value for delta x delta y 2 delta x 2 delta y and value for m so you can calculate this is the point you can calculate the value for p naught using 2 delta x minus delta x and where you can calculate the value for delta x using x2 minus x1 delta y y2 minus y1 in step 4 we will check the value of p naught whether this value is greater than 0 or equal to 0 or less than 0 if the value is less than 0 then the point is plotted as this and we will increment the value of p naught using this equation otherwise we will use this to plot the point and we will repeat the step for until delta x time so let's say this with an example so we will draw the line from 5 5 to 39 this is the first end point and this is the second end point here we will draw the line from 5 5 to 39 so as according to this algorithm first we will plot the first point and the first point is 5 5 so you can see here this is the first point now we will calculate the value for delta x delta y 2 delta x 2 delta y and we have initial point as 5 5 and the second point is 39 calculate the value for delta x that is x2 minus x1 y delta y is y2 minus y1 and 2 delta x is put the value of 2 into delta x as calculated 8 and we got the value for 2 delta x and 2 delta y then you calculate the value for slope that is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 now you can calculate the value for the point here so we have p naught is 2x delta y minus delta x and the value of 2 delta y is 8 and delta x is also 8 so value for p naught is now 0 so next step is check the value of p naught whether it is greater or less than so right now in this case p naught is p naught is 0 and 0 is not less than 0 so condition is false so in this algorithm if the condition is false then we will use this so use the point to plot this one now let's see how we will calculate this point for this 
value of k as you can see we will initialize this algorithm starting the value of k is 0 so value of k is 0 put the value of k here that is x0 value of k is 0 so we have x0 plus 1 y0 plus 1 and the value of x0 that is the initial point we have 5 5 5 plus 1 y0 is also 5 that is 5 plus 1 so we got another point 6 6 now we will plot this point 6 6 as you can see here for the x coordinate we have 6 for the y we have 6 now we will plot the point then we will calculate the value for p using this equation put the value of k here this is 0 value of k is 0 and 2 delta x that is 8 2 delta sorry that is 2 delta y and 2 delta x as we calculated the value for delta x and delta y you can see put the value here and we got the value for p1 is minus 8 now we will check this value again here so so we got the value for p1 is minus 8 now value of k is 1 this is for k equal to 1 so we got the value for p1 is minus 8 and we will check the condition here minus 8 is less than 0 condition is true so the next point that you will plot is xk plus 1 yk so put the value of k k is 1 here we got the value for this is 7 and here we have 6 that is the previous value of x1 that we calculated is 6 as you can see here this point is now 6 6 so we will consider this value now the value is 6 plus 1 and for y1 is 6 now the new point that we will plot is 7 6 and for this now we will put value in this equation for the next point put the value of k1 and here we will put the value of k1 also and the p1 is minus 8 here by mistake I write 0 please use here 1 and minus 8 minus 8 and minus 8 plus 8 is 0 now we got another point that is 7 6 so value of x is 7 here you can see and y is 6 so we plotted another point on the screen that is 7 6 now again we will check the value so we computed the value as you can see for p2 is 0 now we will check the condition as 0 is not less than 0 so condition is false so again we will use this equation put the value now value of k is 2 and we got the next point is 8 7 after that we will calculate the value for p 3 that is minus 8 plot the next point that is 8 7 so the value of x is 8 and the 7 is here you can see the next point we plotted here now we will again check this condition again this condition is true now we will plot the point using this and we got another point that is 9 7 and we calculated p for 0 plot the point 9 7 so you can see x is 9 and y is 7 done now for all this you will got value for p for 0 and we will plot another point 10 8 then we will got the value for p5 minus 8 and the point is 11 8 you will go, got the value for p6 is 0 and we will got the another point that is 12 9 then for p7 is minus 8 and you will got another point that is 39 now we will plot these points so you can see here we have this point that is 10 8 so you can see here this point that is 10 we have here x 10 and 8 next point is 11 8 so you can see here we have 11 and 8 next point is 12 9 they have 12 and 9 next point is 13 and 9 so we were drawing a line from 5 5 to 39 so you can see we have 5 5 and now we have 13 9 so now we will draw the line 
so like this you can draw the line between the two end points that is 55 five to 39 using Bresenham's algorithm and this algorithm is simple faster more accurate as compared to DD algorithm so that's all about this video so what we did we will we are using just simple algorithm for this first we will input the two endpoints so we need two endpoints on this then we will initialize with the first point we will plot the first point then we will calculate the value for p naught and in order to calculate the value for p naught you need to calculate 2 delta x delta y and minus delta x and you can calculate delta x and delta y using these equations then we will check the value we calculated for p pk is less than or equal to or greater than zero then according to this we will calculate the value and we will repeat the step until delta x time right now in this example we have the value of delta x is you can see here 8 so we repeated this algorithm for 8 points you can see from p naught to 7 that is 8 points so that's all about this video if you have any question you can comment below and thanks for watching this video